Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Eagle SciTech and today I'm going to show you how to use chroma key in movie video editor. Uh, in this way you can have a green screen effect that is you can change the background uh, of image or video with this chroma key. So let's uh, get into it. We'll go in, uh, into movie video editor and we will select some videos which has a green uh, color background and sh uh, has done shooting in front of a green color or a different color it doesn't matter uh, background and uh, we will also choose some background image uh, to put in the background of that video so let's uh, add files I will add all of them. I want to show some stuff, so I will add all of them. We can see the lady is talking in front of a green color background. The background can be of any color. As you can see, this color uh, is light green, and this color is a bit of dark green. It doesn't matter until and unless you don't have this similar color in your background image the image which you are going to put in the effect now when you are doing this kind of video effect some of the things which you should keep in your mind is the lighting first is the lighting uh, you should have proper light uh, which focus on the background as well as the subject that is the green color background over here as well as the subject and if you want to be professional it should also have a light which focuses on the hair because uh, there will be some problems I'll show you uh, as the video goes and uh, another thing is the distance between the green color background and the subject it should not be very far away and it should not be very close because if it is close that uh, there can be a problem of shadow uh, falling on the background okay and the thing other thing I say that the background we're using should not be uh, used with the color which you will be using uh, the background image if the background image has a similar color then it can show as black or pixelated so it should not be used now you can say why we use green color as a background to shoot because as you can see uh, in our body we don't have much of green color people really use uh, green color uh, clothes uh, and it's easy to shoot but yes obviously uh, if you are putting some background with trees leaves uh, with multicolor you should be careful about the color you are using uh, for background now to uh, do some professional effects uh, you should be using Adobe After Effects or Adobe Photoshop uh, but for easy going uh, this movie is a very handy stuff now to start I will use this background I'll bring this background over here you have to bring the background first then uh, bring the video I'll bring all all of my background I have uh, bring over here uh, I have another background then I will bring this video over here overlap it okay now uh, what I'll do is that I will uh, it's been overlapped you can see because the image size is exactly of uh, the video size uh, the size is 1920 uh, in uh, width and uh, 1080 in height so if you want to uh, edit it beforehand you can do it or you can just stretch it uh, from here like this okay uh, now I will click this video and I will click chroma key now what I'll do is that this uh, dropper I'll click this in over here and you can see that the background has uh, come 
so what are the things now we can do there are four options over here what are what do these things do uh, the tolerance if you bring the tolerance down you can see the green effect will come so the tolerance should be fully up 90 is the maximum and talking about noise if you bring the noise up there will be a greenish effect you can see over here that there will be a greenish effect in the hair uh, so the noise should be down now I was talking about the hair light uh, the, you can see the hair light is important because there are still some green effect uh, if you are not using hair light then it will not all be uh, uniform so hair light is important and talking about ages, if you bring the ages up, what will happen is that uh, there will be some blackish effect. Okay, the big net effect. Now, the ages should be also be of zero. And of opacity, if you bring it down, you can see that it gets uh, pixelated. The opacity should be at least uh, in the 50s because if you increase the opacity, you can see the uh, some of the background here comes back uh, I, I want that and the, and the natural effect comes so I will increase to 50 because I increase more than it the background light becomes uh, darker so this is quite good now, if you want the effects like here the offline effects there is a greenish effect and uh, the it is not sh uh, it's quite sharp if you want to be make it blur uh, and module the background you have to use uh, some uh, upgraded uh, editor like at the photoshop i have uh, mentioned okay now uh, obviously uh, this is not a professional video the background looks weird and everything looks weird uh, it should be done in shooting it should be done uh, with the with a very go good camera set with good focus focusing uh, it, I'm showing it just for edit uh, purpose now I want to run this video you can see how it looks I have muted now you can see uh, if you see cl uh, closely that that's some black effect because of the because of the lighting okay so lighting is very important and you can see that it becomes black when I just cross the background and I want to show you another video of another green color I'll just bring this video over here and now I'll just choose chroma key I'll do the same and all the effects I'll bring it to 90 H0 uh, zero opacity you can see that opacity makes it look weird so I'll increase it now starting from the beginning you can you can see it looks good it isn't weird it looks good uh, the, uh, we all should be worrying about the light while we are sh shooting and if you want to edit it uh, professionally we should be using something like Adobe uh, After Effects so this is how you do it you can also use a, a background video obviously uh, you can use the background image you can use the background uh, video uh, so it's a, it's a very handy thing to do uh, so I hope that this video helped you and if you want to see more of uh, movie with video tutorials I have made some of them I have made a playlist just click this playlist over here in the right corner uh, and you can see that and uh, if video if this video helped you and if you liked it please give a thumbs up it means a lot and please don't forget to subscribe for more updates and hit the notification bell to get notified whenever I upload a new video. So that's it for today. Uh, thank you for watching. See you next time.